Hey guys, this is Scott Wilhite. I thought I'd give you a brief tutorial on how to create a uh, project in the .NET Nuke Forge. As you guys may or may not know, we have a relationship with, uh, with CodePlex, who provides uh, all of the source code control and file distribution and whatnot for uh, the .NET Nuke project. And ultimately, this is where your, your project uh, will uh, be serviced from. So it's a, a good idea, if you don't already have one, to go ahead and get yourself a CodePlex user ID. Uh, if you're a .NET developer, you probably already have one, but if not, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up. It'll make the process a little bit easier. Uh, so, going to the Forge on .NET Nuke.com, which is located in Development uh, Forge, uh, we can scroll right down here to the directory, and you'll see a nice little link that says click here to create or manage your project. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll be presented with a very simple screen. Uh, which will allow us to create a new project. Uh, if you have other projects, you'll be able to manage some of their details here. They'll be in this little drop-down, but since we haven't, uh, we'll start fresh. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my uh, project a title, and I'm going to call it my DNN uh, Special Project. And so, there we go. Uh, create that, and wait for just a moment. And as you can see, we're talking to CodePlex. Uh, you can also note here that we passed along a special little ID to CodePlex. This is how we differentiate from other uh, items that are in CodePlex that are not related to DNN and wind up with our nice little uh, banner indicating that we're participating in the .NET Nuke Forge. Uh, so just so you understand what's going on there. So we'll give it a, a title. We have to fill out all the standard uh, uh, form uh, uh, entries that you would hear for a, a uh, CodePlex project apart from DNN or not. But uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll give it a unique name here. Uh, you can make that as short or long as you like, but uh, ultimately this does need to be unique. And, and the screen will tell you if you uh, run into a conflict there, but I'm pretty sure I'm safe uh, naming it something which is fairly unique to me. Also, you could choose Mercurial. I hear a lot of good things about that product, but personally I'm going to stick with what I know, which is TFS. And I'm going to put in a short description here. Uh, which you can come back and edit anytime. Now, this information that you put in here is ultimately going to get sent back to .NET Nuke.com uh, to be included uh, in your Forge listing, which is where these things come from. So this text, for example, is what is in this field on that project. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, throw some money towards Habitat for Humanity just because I think it's in the open source, uh, uh, the spirit of the open source ethos, but that's up to you. So click Next here, and we're going to wait. Uh, well, just for a second, and there we go, at CodePlex, we have to fill in the obligatory uh, agreements, fill in a little CAPTCHA, and uh, there we go, boom, our project has been created. So uh, you're still just in the standard CodePlex uh, world here, uh, read through all this uh, useful information. If you know how to manage a CodePlex project, you're already sort of done. Uh, you can go to your project and do all the editing that you need to do. Uh, access to source code control, access to an issue tracker, uh, editing your details. Now, mind you, one thing that you do need to do is publish your project. You don't need to do that right away, but you have 30 days now to go ahead and get some uh, either a downloadable file, uh, which can be placed on your downloads page, or some source code, and then actually publish your project. Okay. Once the project is published, is when you're going to see it show up in the .NET Nuke Forge. So as you can see, if I come back here right now and I go to click and manage my own projects, you'll see that I actually do have listed my special DNN project. But if I want to try to edit it, I can see that there isn't any much information there. And uh, we can see that it takes 24 hours to have those uh, changes reflected on .NET Nuke.com anyway. We basically do a little sync up with, uh, with CodePlex and they give us all the information for the projects which have been published. So, uh, in 24 hours, well, let's see, if I come back and I publish this project, in 24 hours I will have a full listing for my Forge project on .NET Nuke.com. And that's all it takes. I uh, hope you uh, feel like adding your DNN project to the Forge and uh, joining with us in creating a powerful, uh, a powerful ecosystem and a place for people to easily find uh, free extensions for their .NET Nuke platform. Cheers.